welcome back to my video today. Um, today I'm going to be discussing a really important topic um, and I'm going to give a little bit of gestures at the at the end that I feel like everybody could use. Um, this past weekend I went to the ER because I was having some pain on my right side. The only reason why I went into the ER because the pain was very consistent. Um, it lasted for about two weeks um, so I thought since it's going on for so long that I should definitely go and check it out. So when I went into the ER, um, they gave me all the tests in the world. They gave me the whole workup. So they gave me, they took six vials of blood. Um, they sent me in for a vaginal ultrasound. Um, I had to do, I had to give a urine sample, which was perfectly fine because I figured what the heck I'm here. Let's just do it all. So um, everything came back great with the exception of the ultrasound. So uh, the vaginal ultrasound showed that I had an ovarian cyst. Um, so with the ovarian cyst, uh, she said that it was normal and that um, this occurs in, in every woman and it occurs around the time of ovulation and sometimes the cysts don't go away. Um, fortunately, uh, I was smart enough to ask all of the best questions um, when I asked what can I do to prevent it, she had no answers for me. I said, well, how does it happen? She said, um, it's normal, um, you know, if I have any extra questions to so go and ask my OB. And I figured, hmm, that's kind of strange. And so I said, well, what do I do going forward? She said, well, I can come back to the ER if I had uh, ex excess bleeding or if the pain continues uh, that they're able to do surgery. Um, or they can put me on a medication that can trick my body into thinking it's pregnant. Um, I was not interested in a method that puts my body um, into a position where it thinks it's pregnant. I already have two children and I am not interested right now to gain extra stress and pressure. Um, she stated that the cyst was only two centimeters um, and that I shouldn't worry about it unless it grows. Um, because of the lack of information that I was provided when I was in the hospital, I figured I will do my own research. The main thing I want to discuss today is don't always take a doctor's advice as the only advice that you can be given and it's the super expert and that there is nothing else for you to do than to just follow their instructions. The best thing to do when you're given information by a doctor is to do your own research you take care of your own health at the end of the day. So what I did was I left the facility and I did a whole research. Um, in 24 hours, I had all the information that I could have possibly gathered on ovarian cysts and what I could possibly do to help myself prevent and shrink the cysts. So I'm gonna talk about this product. Women's best friend. Uh, this product, um, I bought it the day after I went into the ER, um, and it's been about a week now. After one, um, one day of using it, it, it's amazing. Like, literally, the pain was gone, and the cramping um, started to die down, and I feel much better. And I didn't have to go the medication route. This is pretty much all herbs that's in it. Um, it has red raspberry, which supports ovarian and uterine strength, um, golden seal, which helps reduce discomfort, cramp bark, which helps reduce menstrual cramping, and remania, which supports regular menstruation. Um, I would prefer to go with a method that is more natural, that doesn't have uh, lots of side effects, and break something to fix something else um, idea, which is what I feel like the medical industry leads more towards. Um, I feel like tricking the body to thinking it's pregnant could probably have really bad side effects. Um, going in and doing surgeries can have really bad side effects, including the healing and scarring of the inside after the surgery. Um, so uh, what, what I wanna tell you is to always do your research, Always try to find ways that you can help your body heal um, naturally than to always going the route of medication and surgery. Um, so that is my note for today. 
Um, I really hope that you guys like the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I will be posting videos once a week, so make sure you always tune in. Thank you.